recently several of the people that I subscribe to and watch on YouTube have done videos relating to first aid and I'm uh, just uh, you know stockpiling for you know emergency situations having you know what you need it got me to thinking that maybe I'm not as prepared as I would like to be in that area I'm a uh, I've had kits like this there's a pretty large one here you see it's got a handled case has 320 some odd pieces of uh, first aid materials everything from bandages to you know some rubbing alcohol basic you know aspirins closure strips on my metal scissors tweeter, tweezers examination gloves splint removers things of that sort for a, you know an emergency or just regular first aid um, uh, but I've had this for a year or so and as well as some small first aid kits that I keep in cars but um, I didn't feel like I had enough um, it wasn't deep enough in that area of the I guess you call it the survival triangle the band-aids portion of the survival triangle so um, I just went out and I've purchased a couple of additional things that I would share it with you um, you know stocking up on some th certain things like hydrogen peroxide I'm uh, great for you know irrigating wounds and things of that sort alcohol I'm uh, got uh, lots of bandages here some larger style bandages gauze pads several different sizes as well as tape to use with them band-aids adhesive band-aids and some other creams of course this is just in addition to what we keep in our regular everyday you know medicine cabinet this is good for insect bites and skin irritation just a like a benadryl type type of cream you know foot powder you're gonna have to cater your kit to basically fit whatever ailments that you're used to used to dealing with I have issues with my feet so um, I have to focus on things like that same with allergies anyone with kids gonna have to have some some of these and what if you weren't able to get to the store because of an emergency and one of your kids is sick you should definitely have you know a variety of items to be able to keep them you know to be able to take care of them you know boxes of allergy pills even though uh now after I've been taking that honey, some of you may have seen the other video, I've been taking that local honey and it really has helped with allergies. I haven't had to take any allergy pills. Of course ibuprofen, just regular pain relief, good items to have. And, um, found uh, some really good deals on things like, they had these big huge bottles of lotion, like 20 bucks, uh, 20 Usually, like uh, three or four dollars, it was two bucks, twenty. I don't know where I was getting that. Also, you know, kid sunscreen definitely important, especially if you end up spending a lot of time outside. Of course, some for adults. These are just my unopened packages. Again, you know, we have regular stuff that we've had and we use whenever we take the, you know, go outside and do things outside. Um, uh, toothbrushes. I mean, uh, not many people carry extra toothbrushes. But um, if you had a supply emergency and you weren't able to get things, always good to have extras. One of these for our own use. And found this at the Dollar Tree. I thought this was great. Um, uh, it's a tear off, and each end of it one tears off. So if you had a neighbor or somebody you know, family members who came to visit, um, or was staying with you just because of the emergency. You would have extra toothbrushes. Also, good trade item. All for a buck. Dollar Tree. Keep that in mind. Some other things. Hand sanitizer. Excellent water saver just in case of an emergency. You want to save your water. You don't want to have to keep sanitizing your water, especially if you've got compromised water supply. This can keep your keep your water usage to a minimum just uh you know have to wash your hands just use a little bit of this kills anything on your hands also good fire starter pro ki most people in this uh community will realize what that's for um mask n95 these will protect you 
you know, it gets airborne illnesses. If we have another outbreak of flu, of that, uh, you know, bird flu or you know, swine flu type virus, N1, H1N1, um, uh, these would be very handy to have, especially if it was a much worse than, say, the H1N1 actually turned out to be. Um, uh, good to have these things in your, and again, these are in addition to, you know, your bulking up on things which like soap, shampoo, deodorant, toothpaste, things that you usually would buy. Uh, anyway, also uh, picked up some of these small travel sizes um, uh, for, you know, emergency kits for the family just in case you have a need for them. But um, uh, just some things that I've added in recently. Um, I might give you some ideas. I'm going to continue to add into the add into my emergency supply. supply. And um, but anyway, I hope this uh, hope this comes in handy, gives you some thoughts. Um, while I was at Dollar General, also this morning, found some of these bins for storing this stuff on clearance. I love that. Anyway, have a great day.